Let's go for it as Aeneas. Uh, Sap done is the best starting area for you, basically. Of the gods? Grab the east of the map, lots of food, and then go for roads. Need divine influence to justify our foolish choices. He's taken her! He's taken my wife! <clears throat> That's some makeup. You've risked the safety of Troy. Troy is my home now. You have my oath, brother. She will be returned to you. Here come the bad guys. Brother, I can fight. Go. Seek shelter. There'll be plenty of fighting ahead. I'm thinking I should have picked the Greeks now that I haven't gone to Paris. Never mind. The wrath of Achaea will descend upon Troy. You love the Hearts of Iron UK playthrough? Paris Cheers, Baxter. Thanks. I'm glad you enjoyed it. But he has incited war. Whether the walls of Ilios will endure, only the gods can tell. Okay, so we're going for a different, different sort of uh, character than I had intended. So we're off to a great start. <laughs> Right. Aeneas, son of son of Aphrodite, stands ready to protect his kinsmen in Troy, eagerly awaiting his coming destiny. I like the whole idea of a Bronze Age Total War game. I like playing Rome Total War, but I like playing as Greeks in that, the original Paris Rome. Of Troy must pay! Oh, great-hearted Aeneas. Your cousin Hector Aeneas. is King Priam's eldest son and Troy's greatest warrior. He is well aware of the danger coming from the West. Brother, your foolish passion has doomed us. I agree, Hector. You're not noble cousins. I stand with you. Little brothers are tossers. <laughs> Recent incursions from the Aeolians devastated Arisbe. You are now at war with King Merops. King Merops. Look to the northern bank of the Hellespont. The hostile Chersonesos seek control of this strategically vital peninsula. Beside the sacred springs of Scamandros, your cousin Hector rules wisely in the name of King Priam. His brother Paris rules from a well-built city overlooking the Aegean. I like the little tour we're getting in here. In the Western Isles, another of Troy's princes, God touched Troilos, protects Who? the coast from hostile incursions to aid all seafarers. Troilos. Secure your holdings, then aid your cousins against the coming Achaean storm. So rest brace against the storm. Wicked mystery, nice to see you again. How's things going? Right, let's see that I've got the keys down here, right? Yep, WASD. Secure your holdings, how they play, Dardania, Divine Omens. Pius Aeneas is the son of Aphrodite and firmly believes in the great destiny the Olympians have in store for him. Occasionally he can perform missions in the name of a god to gain their divine favour. Stygian voices. Is that Stygian or Stygian? Because we've met this word here in Conan the role-playing game, and I was never fully sure how to pronounce it there either. Aeneas claims he can communicate with denizens of the underworld. Spirits have fallen heroes of the past. In this way, he can tap into their wisdom, although the commoners abhor these activities, considering them unnatural. Oh, those commoners. What's this up here? Royal decrees. Advance your faction's capabilities by issuing royal decrees. Oh, how does this work? Uh, I'm guessing we can do nothing at the moment. What do we have? Royal decrees. Choose a decree to issue. Once issued, its effects are permanent. The higher your administration efficiency rating, the quicker you issue decrees. You can queue several subsequent decrees. Be mindful, some royal decrees cost resources to unlock. Ah, so these are going to be like bonuses like, um, I don't know, empire management, army size, something like that. It's not giving me any clues. Okay, well, we can't do them anyway at the moment for all it's flashing. As far as I can tell, we can't anyway. Oh, I thought, sorry, I thought that was a, the go back button. Toggle overlays. Was that it? Oh, okay. Can we do something here? Oh, we can. Damn, there's an information thing flying up on screen. Okay, so we can look at these. 
Right, what have we got? Songs of the age, to all our poets I command, go forth among my subjects and sing the praises of this age. The people's feast, plus two to happiness in own provinces. But is that for so many turns? Looks like it's, it's either takes six turns to effect or it's got a six turn cooldown. I'm not quite sure which. <laughs> in his Ouija board. Uh, you go for additional food first. Uh, what's that, the people's one? The people's feast. What have we got here? Royal timber. 100 wood per turn faction wide. We can build a Trojan horse. Ah, food, okay. Uh, 280 food per turn faction wide. What are we producing? Um, so is, is food like, like currency that you use to buy things with? Because it seems to be we have a lot of it there. <clears throat> and what's this one? Treasure hall. 20, oh, 20 gold per turn. Gold is the rarest resource required to construct special buildings or train to support the best troops. It's gathering gold mine settlements, deposits of different sizes, etc. Royal bronze. Safety of our land is forged in bronze. Increase the size of our warehouses at once. Agents. Oh, God, I've got agents in this. I hate agents in these games. I've forgotten about them. Okay. Well, as it looks like just like looks like it's seven turns tick over. It doesn't look like there's any sort of uh, penalty for that. So the research trees, basically, you need turns to unlock it. I see. Okay. Foods used to buy and pay for units. Basically, every unit consumes food and they eat a lot. Right. Okay. So it's, it's, it's basically like currency to pay the army's wages. I see. Okay. So we'll go with that. Pick one of them. Um, I don't know why this is, keeps popping back up. Yes, we know that. We know that. Do we, how do we get rid of this? How do they play? Um... The Get enemy sends their warriors against you to ravage your lands and sack your cities, but perhaps they underestimate your strength. March out. Engage them in battle and put them to flight. Defeat an army belonging to the following faction. A P Z A, -A, -A, -A. Oh my god, I'm gonna struggle with every bloody word in this place. Uh Apesos? Pezos? Apesos. Let's go with a Pezos. Abydos. Cestos. Oh my god. Let's go back to playing Total War Britannia, I think. At least I can pronounce those words. Hey, Alexen, how's it going? Adidas? Is that where they make the uh, footwear? Alright, so we've got an army here. Uh, which are my cities? Is this one? Okay, so we've got one here. And one here. So we've got two. Uh, who's this? So it's Sestos. Cherzenesos. Is that the owner? Is that is that him? Adamas of, of Cherzenesos. It's a neutral army. Let's let's get an idea of who we're looking at here. My god, this is this is gonna be confusing. Who have we got up here? Red. These look like bad guys. Perkety. Pezos. Okay, so I think red means we're at war with them. Is that right? It's, um... I see a little mini-map over there. Do we get a full map? No. Okay, let's see. Who have we got here? Are we are we at war with these people? Do we have a diplomacy screen? Battle awaits. We have an army with some spearmen. Axe chargers. Do we have a special ability? Light skirmishers. Anatolian swords, they sound pretty good. Coastal club fighters. Oh, I see, yeah. Zoom right out. Cheers, Aimless. Does that show the uh, the borders any any easier? We've got this yellow splodge. Is that my land that they're sitting in? Or oh, is that the oh that's the range, the movement range? Okay, I've got it, got it now. Um Does that mean nine units to his five? Let's go and have a fight then. Right click, is it? Go at them. Oh man, we should easily swamp over. Is this even worth doing anything but an auto fight? Let's fight the battle in this. Let's see how we go. Our first engagement. Your Lord Emperor Mark, known for reforming the ancient armies by making them lose the gluttonous trait. He's a radical general having perfect society. Uh, but uh, especially the elite troops. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see if that comes true. It's a good, uh, it's a good guess. Literally just a name. I think 
we'll end up in a bankrupt disaster, personally. Start deployment. We want dry. I don't think we've got anything in the way of missile troops, have we? Some light skirmishes. All right, let's just take um, let's take that. No finesse. No finesse. We're going to deploy them like that. We should. Oh, that's not looking quite as obvious there. Do we... Oh, that's not it. Okay, let's go. That shows me where we're going. Right, where's the speed up battle order? What have we got? We've got slingers. They will probably chew us to pieces as we attack. We've got some just swordsmen, light swordsmen, and young spears. <laughs> that guy. Was it that guy? One looks like the missing link. Hey, Papa Bibbs, how's it going? Am I in the way of anything there? Are you missing my commander's face? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, oh, we're in range. Pause a second then. Let's just take a quick look. So we've got javelin guys over here. Uh, let's charge them. Oh, it's, it's right. Okay, I'm getting hold of the controls. Charge them in. And these guys, we may as well. I'm just going to charge in like that. It's time to go on the double. Uh, it's, so it seems to be right click. I'll have to get used to that. I haven't played a Total War game since Total War Saga Britannia, I think. Hope we're running, fellas. Hope we're running. Got a lot of incoming missile fire. The foe has shited your hidden units. He shited them. Armed and ready. Char oh, it's right click. It's right click. Charge. Charge. You chase those guys right across the map, no doubt. Should probably have gone in a bit better there. Oh god, it's a it's a hero? Where's my hero, actually? What's his special ability? Hero ability what's it called? Aristea? My destiny has come, the gods of Olympus are by my side. May my enemies cower and the poets forever sing the glory of his day. Is under attack. Yes, get him stuck in. I think his rage is increasing. Where is he? Hopefully getting lots and lots of kills. Flanking. Yes, we know about flanking. Thank you very much. Uh, what's this? March of Hermes. All right, so he can affect allies in range. 8% speed, 10% stamina. Do I need to wait for that to charge up? I'm guessing it needs to be filled up and then he just goes berserk. Are we losing the rest of the battle in the meantime? Yay, somebody's charged all the way out of there. See the enemy break like reeds before the storm. As they flee, cut the curse down. Victory just make sure that is close enough to taste. We got um, yeah, just get that spear unit behind. I think you can probably go over there. Where's my general? Oh, he's lost all his rage. Go on then, run them down. Hercules or whatever you called. Aeneas. There's no point sending the other guys off over there. They'll never catch them slingers. Bring them back in. There we go. Vamos, vamos. He was known for yelling at his troops. A true inspirational leader. Yes, everything's quickly, quickly. Charge everything in. What have we got over here? We're trying to kill this guy's leader, right? Castor. That's his morale in the middle. Let me see him guy with a lion helm I'm guessing if he tries to flee he's not getting out One of that of right has no more ammunition. oh man really really they can just flee through stuff like that I know this age was all about the uh, the heroes and stuff the game is all about the stories but really uh, give me some axe men uh, you charge that one down. Club men charge that one down. Is this a game where everybody fights to the death as well? Did we ever get anything over here? We've chased someone all the way off. 
speed it up. I think we've, we're winning. It gets to the point where I just wish the, the battle would end, where everything's just running off anyway. Oh, there we go. Victory. That'll do. End battle. Watch out for flanking like that. Morale is very bad on those early units and mass routes are a thing. Cool. I think we can use that to our advantage. But did we get the guy in the lion helm? Decisive victory. 500 XP. Some food. So I lost 93 to their 252. We captured some. So we've got the choice of lives as barter for the treasury. In times of war, resources are precious. We shall offer the worthless lives of all captured men to their masters in exchange. That's selling them back then. Okay. Spill their blood. Kill them now. Turns two. Or for two turns. 8% to morale of own units. I'll take them on. Units replenished by five. I'll take them on. It makes uh, recruitment a bit faster. Progress. Defeat an army belonging to Apezos. The warmongers of Apezos have advanced with their forces. Now threaten your lands and the livelihood of your people. Okay, great. So, we've got the new objective on that. New recruits can be trained to build up your forces and replace warriors lost in battle. This will be a long war. And your adversary... I see. We've got a mission to get three... Uh, do we, we want to zoom to a location? We don't need that, do we? We killed him. Excellent. Right. Let's get some reinforcements. Oh, I'm on the wrong keys there. We won. Thank the gods. No real evidence that the Trojan War was ever a real conflict. Uh, they found what they think was the site of Troy, haven't they? Um, an archaeologist has found that. Well, the original archaeologist who found it got it wrong. But um, no, you're right. There's no, there's no guaranteed. There's no solid evidence that this sort of uh, this thing ever existed. It's anything more than just a story. I can take that city just by taking it. So there's no defenses. Like, uh, let's see. So let's see what one with defenses looks like. I can't tell. I guess there'd be an army in it, right? Aeneas of Dardania. Colonize? I guess colonize. Oh, hang on. That costs us food, wood, stone. And 655 soldiers. Do we want to do that? That's like a lot. There's no need for further slaughter. So, but I mean, it's burned out, so. Make this place ours. Yeah, I thought it would do that. All right. Well, they, they, can, they can replenish. I guess I needed the settlement, so. Uh, what can we do? Can we build stuff here? Local recruitment. We do need more units. We've got coastal axe fighters. Tardanian rabble. Two-handed spear infantry. Uh, is there... Is cavalry a thing in this? Darnanian mob. Shielded expendable. I like that. Poor morale. Poor morale. Forget anything with poor morale. I'm not doing that. Axe charges. Um, but a rabble have got excellent morale for some reason. Okay. I swear it. Let's put uh, let's put a unit of each in and see what it looks like. Actually, I only need one more unit. I think, don't think it matters where I recruit these guys from, does it? Uh, let's put um, let's put those in then. And do I need to click this, or is that just it now? No, they're in. They're in there. Okay. Right. That when they've formed should complete that next mission. I think. Cavalry is a thing, but you don't see it too often. Ooh, who are these bad boys then? Why does that look like something's under... Sorry, is that just showing me the area? That's not my fleet, right? Just a port. Okay. Um, I don't like the, the burning symbol around it. I suppose you can see here why it's selected, but it looks like it was on fire like this place was. So what have we got choice of here? Shall we save our resources for a turn in case we get a mission? A ruined forest town. But that's not currently wrecked and burned out, right? I can do something with it. Oh, no, these are the... Oh, okay. I'm with it now. These are the other towns in the in the province that make up the area. So this is Dardanos. This is what this is. This is uh, a Risby we've just taken. Do we need to build that? 
or does it happen automatically? It's happening. So, and then there's Abydos, which we can go to there. Right. Okay. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Where's end turn? End turn. It's not happening. So I need to click on this. Oh, right. You click on it from this menu. Got it. Right. So even more, even more expense. God damn it. Uh, right, we've got that. Food production? Uh, Haswell Hut does what? Five to casualty replenishing made in this province. Happiness. Minus four to influence. Well, that doesn't sound good. I guess you need to build other things to, to, to gain influence at the same time. Construct new buildings here. Uh, okay, it's, it's slightly coming back to me. I, I kind of remember how it works now. Bottom right. The big button there with the arrow. Thank you. We'll then turn and see what happens. Is it loud enough, by the way, folks? Can you hear the uh, the uh, the clicks and whirs of battle and stuff? Do we need to go and explore? Do we need to like get a fleet built and explore? Excellent. So we've done the done the mission. Cool. Brute um, strength alone will not win this war. Issue a decree. Ordering your finest minds to research new methods of warfare, lest others overtake you. We've got a decree in process, I think. Which is this, isn't it? Yeah. Objectives for the victory. Complete all the steps of your hero's epic mission chain. Ooh, do we know what they are yet? Or do we find out? Make sure following factions are destroyed or confederated Mycenae and Sparta. Oh god, you've got to get favour of the gods? How are we going to do that? What's this then? Divine will? Oh, all right. Well, this, that, this answers this then. Um, let's see. Issue decree. Yes, we'll maybe come to this later. Green gods watch over the state and its people. Red gods is war and battle. Bonus to the units. Yellow gods are teachers of wisdom and cunning. and improve your agents, making your armies move further on the campaign map. You can pray to a god. Um, this costs me gold and food. All my gold. So you get a, a bonus for so many turns. Right. Favor of Hera. Which does what? It just says favor of Hera. It doesn't actually, doesn't actually tell me. Oh, plus 70. Is that to get... Um, We'll worry about that in a, in a bit. Control of every settlement in a province will give you complete dominion over all who live there. There's no Expand fleets. Expand your holdings and bring more of the Aegean under your heel. So no fleets in this game at all. Interesting. Uh, thirst for conquest. Maintain control of one province either by direct ownership or through vassals and military allies. No, we go for direct ownership. Less people to worry about. Stabbing us in the back that way. Is this just a reward? Maintain control of. Okay, but we have control of, right? We have this and this and this. Oh, no, we don't have this. This is... Ah, okay. Now we need to go and grab that. Which we were at war with them anyway. I don't know where that other army sodded off to. Is... Um garrison's a thing it is there we go garrison details okay and building various things will change the garrison or add to it maybe they just recover over time i don't know right so you i kind of want these people to here. sorry what yes okay go away um i guess we want them to heal up let's end turn we'll move on Hey, Bombster. I'm very well, thanks. How are you? Do not neglect the development of your towns and cities. For many benefits accrue from construction at home. Put your carpenters and stonemasons to work. Very good. What do we need to do? Build any building. Okay. We can do that. Any... No kingdom flourishes and endures through military conquest alone. Grow and maintain your settlements through construction. Their resources we just do that? can be harnessed to serve the war... Or is that the same thing? 
Healthy growth in a province leads to the expansion of your cities and an increase in the benefits they bring. The populace thrives here. So the cities are right. Okay, I think we I think we got that one. Anything more you want to add, Your Majesty? So we go to where oh fact and summary. Ah, nice. Okay. Like a little treasury page. Chief of Dardania. Diplomatic relations to with Troy, Paris. Not so good with the Thracians. This hero can order the construction of battering rams or siege towers when besieging a major settlement. Well, we've gone for a good looking guy at least, I think. Uh, records, statistics. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's alright. That's okay. Divine omens. Ah, oh, these are the voices of the underworld. Right. Hmm. Favor of all the gods, minus ten. But we get food. <laughs> yeah, let's let's try not to delve into that too much. I think. Army's just jumping to ships when they're sent out to sea. Naval battles aren't the thing. When two navies fight, it's fought on a small island. Their excuse is that almost nothing is known about naval combat in the Bronze Age. That sounds like a cop out to me. Really, it really does. They've got naval battles in a, in a lot of other games, the Total War games, but not done terribly well in some of them. So that does sound like a cop-out. Hmm, surprised at that. Uh, how's the army going? I guess I could march up to there, so it's on the way. Let's let's get him... As the gods will it. Open the gates. So they're still going to... They're going to refresh there. Do I want some more soldiers? If I click on that, current amount change change per turn that's good right it's going up that's the change per turn yes it is it's going up nicely so I, I can definitely afford to recruit some more men what have we got um oh there's more there is do i want more javeliners i agree let's go with that let's go for a lot of what's the what's the um see what their wages are and that's their ongoing food is that right upkeep so we're gonna have a bit of a, a bit of a skirmish core lots of spearmen I don't know I, I think that'll do I think we'll see if that can take that city that might be a bit weak skirmishes might not be very good at that let's two turns okay two turns it is then to get those guys uh, meanwhile meanwhile what can we build over here Construction slot. What's it got going? It's got some farms. Should we build farms in everything to get the cash? The cheap and cheap old cash. But I don't like the idea of the lack of influence. I really don't like that. Let's get... Uh, this is my capital, so maybe we need something militaristic here. What's this one? This is a... Oh, these are the fortifications. Walled city, right. Let's have... Military buildings. What have we got choice of? Oh, okay. So we have to be careful. That provides a garrison. Uh, a Victoria. Extra experience of all units per turn in this province. I guess we have to go above there to build other things. Or just we have to get above level three. Are these worth building? Oh, I see. Better skirmishers. And they... That just provides a garrison. It's not really saying I can do much else with it. 